Okay, Chili's happy hours from three to seven. We got to wrap this up. <laughs> All right, we got we. Wes, you got you got some more Wes and Horny Jail art. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> horny oh. Azkaban. Yeah, v, V's V's did the Horny Azkaban, which is very fucking funny and yes. creepy just below. <laughs> Yo, that's a that's a dope ass picture of me. I love that. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Chili wasn't in a happy hour yet, so fuck me, I guess. Uh, <laughs> then I would like to resume our trial. That seemed like a thing that should have been preceded by something else. <laughs> Judge Miles Edgeworth has admitted his own guilt. He has confessed his crime. Let us begin by hearing his testimony. Then, through pointless... Then, though pointless, let the defense do their cross-examining. The statute of limitations on the DL6 incident runs out today. Though it's unconventional for me, I'd like to run this one by the book. Oh, fuck off, one <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I see. Does the defense have any objections? Also, Von Karma I mean, was just literally like, like a thousand, but for this court, no. Also, Von Karma really just said, "Hey, listen, I know I usually uh, fucking break the law, Fuck shit up, <laughs> but this time, no, no, I'm good. Scout's honor, I swear." <laughs> no, Your Honor, Von Karma, you knew this is going to happen from the very beginning, didn't you? Which is an amazing level of foresight. <laughs> Very well. Will Miles Edgeworth take the stand? I see through you with my Millennium Finger. No. <laughs> Not that. Because yeah, he's got he does a snap. I get it, I get it, I get it. The Millennium will, Glove. Will the witness state his name and profession? Miles Edgeworth. I am a prosecuting attorney. The millennium and you cravat. won't be if you get found guilty of murder. But you won't because it's at best manslaughter and most likely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. 15 years ago, you mistakenly killed your father, Gregory Edgeworth. I like to put eight amounts of em I like to put a lot of emphasis on mistakenly because it's a pretty big factor in this. Yeah. <laughs> Is this correct? It is correct. Then testify about this matter to the court. <laughs> Dev MJ says Millennium Taser. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's good, actually. I'll zap you with my Millennium Taser. What does it do? Sends you to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> It's just a taser I painted gold. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It just tases you. Ah. <laughs> just like how I tased Phoenix at his 17-year-old assistant yesterday. <laughs> ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. Damn it, got me again. Crafty as always. <laughs> when Edgeworth was telling me about his dream yesterday, I noticed something. I wasn't in it. One what detail. <laughs> one detail didn't quite fit. That will be the key. But only if I can get it to work. Please. Please. I don't know why. But that, that also looks like Maya's fist fighting stance. Yeah. She's like shadow she, boxing. She's got her hands right below the eye line. She's got a good boxer's, uh, boxer's yeah, she's, defensive she, position. She's, she's protecting her face. <laughs> she's about to do her, her Dempsey roll. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the chat is talking. One... Pantran is like, Pridge, can you just go right into a different trial like this? No. The answer is no. No. There's a shit ton of paperwork, initial appearances, arraignments, get, please, discovery, what to be up before. No, there, there's a million and a half steps. That's why whenever you hear in the news that someone's being sued, you don't hear anything else about it for like months Month. because yeah. there is so much dull paperwork and evidence gathering between the initial filing or the initial charges. Also, uh, Grass God says, he was nine. <laughs> They're treating this like he just <laughs> did it as a 24-year-old. I know. 
So and, funny. Uh, a nine-year-old accident. A nine-year-old <laughs> threw her gun to protect his father. It accidentally went off and killed his father. That's like, I, 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 it would be really funny if they actually just found Edgeworth guilty but gave him like a two-month sentence. <laughs> like, eh, yeah, we'll give you like reckless it's not, throwing it's of it's a firearm. Even... We'll give you like, oh we'll give you shit, a, but it's not even jail time. Parole. It's like community service. Yo, yeah, like, we're gonna give you a really... hundred hours of community service. I, I, I don't know, Karma. Is that the revenge you were hoping for? <laughs> I really, I really need an edit of the the bit from SpongeBob where they admit that they stole a balloon oh. on Free Balloon Day, but have it be Edgeworth as SpongeBob, and they're like. If you can't do the crime, don't, or if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Oh, okay, time's up. Yeah. Okay, I'll put that in. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Okay, time's up. Now get out. But, but we stole a balloon. Yeah, on free balloon day. <laughs> <laughs> that day. I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As we went to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. My father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted them to stop fighting. Miles, do you know how to use a gun? A moment later, there was a single gunshot and a scream. <laughs> that's funny. What if Miles still, what if Miles this whole time thought that's how you shoot guns is throwing them at people? <laughs> Miles just thinks like I... shooting ranges, they just give you a bunch of guns and you just throw them. <laughs> you throw them like shurikens. <laughs> it's one of those guns from Borderlands where when you reload, you throw it and it shoots more bullets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why you. It was a terrible scream. I remember it to this day. That's all. Hmm. All right, so first problem is there were two bullets fired. Mm -hmm. And until now, you thought this memory was a dream. We were stuck in that elevator for five hours. The oxygen in the elevator ran out, and I lost my memory of the events. Bah! The same claim Mr. Yogi has made. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Yes. Also, I, I, I just want to put this out technically. We did just break Von Karma's perfect record. He, also, he yeah. He has a... He, he even, I know his grand revenge is to get Edgeworth guilty for something else, but he did lose that trial, so... Yeah, no matter it, what happens, we just fucked your perfect record. Yeah, also, he literally lost his mind yesterday that it took three more than three minutes to finish a case. But we just fucking beat him. He lost forever. It's in the fucking books. Put it on the board. <sighs> Von Karma has a loss. Stuck on that Millennium Rod, Von Karma. <laughs> back, to, back to Horny Joe, Wes. Yep. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> You know what? I'm probably going to have to make the West and Horny Jail ah, a fucking Luke. emote now. <laughs> <sighs> yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> uh, so, as you said, uh, so I'm fighting a single gunshot. Do you want to press it first or just go right? Yeah, I mean, we can press it. This. Press it. Press it good. The gun fired once? Yes. I think. After I threw it, I lost consciousness. God, you're such a wimp. <laughs> but you're so fragile, I just want to take care of you. <laughs> Since then, they've echoed in my head every day. That gunshot and that horrible scream. The screen. Yeah, you know Edward Monk's painting, the screen. Yeah, it's it's a good piece of art. Oh. All right. Uh, wait. 
Is that what I want? Yeah. What, what, do you, what do you think the scream sounds like that he's making? I was about like to a, just ah! yell at the top of my lungs, and I was like, no, Magnus is sleeping. I don't want to do I'll that. I'd say Magnus would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's sleeping right now. I don't want to. No, no frightening Magnus. He's having a he's having a doggo napo. He's a doggo napo, exactly. Okay. Hell yeah. First try. Are you sure that 15 years ago you remember only hearing one gunshot, you fucking <laughs> when child? When you were nine? <laughs> yes, I'm sure of that. Well, I'm here to tell you you're a fucking idiot. But I love you. I heard, I heard the shot and the scream. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> then everything faded. I was unconscious until the rescuers came. You know, those two little mice? They're adorable. <laughs> I really loved it when I saw them in the Outback costumes. The rescuers down under, great film. <laughs> How about, uh, this, my, this is actually my brother. I know this name in the chat. It's next to my brother, but he says it's the Will. He says he heard the Wilhelm scream. Oh, that is really the, good. The, the, the gun went off and the Wilhelm scream. Oh. <laughs> That's my impression I of the Wilhelm screen, which is fucking trash. <laughs> can we get a can we get oh, a picture? No, I of, like it. Can we get a picture of the the scream with that version of the scream you just did? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll throw that up. Yeah. <gasps> I see. But that doesn't make sense. It Not makes really dollars. <laughs> Damn it! Look at this file one more time. This plainly Look at contradicts. This file one more time. No, no, that does no, not. No, doesn't work. Doesn't, that, does doesn't not, work. that was forced. Doesn't need to happen. <laughs> this plainly contradicts the witness's testimony. You do enjoy dragging out that file, don't you? Yeah, and I'm gonna enjoy dragging your ass to fucking jail, you son of a bitch. You enjoy tasing people, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't accept this evidence. Unless. You can tell us what page it's on. What the fuck is well, that? Well, that's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. Which page contradicts Miles Edgeworth's testimony, huh? Okay, let me read the fucking thing again so I can tell you which page it was. Also, I love how they're like, this is a, this is quite a large document. Three it's pages. three pages. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. It's the second one. Great. Yeah, victim data. Hey, Von it's Karma. A pretty large document. No, it's three pages, dipshit. It turns out Von Karma <laughs> just like has a, a, a first grade equivalent equivalency of reading, and he's like, uh, it's a lot of words. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> I actually can't read. <laughs> Look at the victim data in this file. It says quite plainly, the murder weapon was fired twice. Ooh, Boo. two gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> Miles Edgeworth only heard one gunshot. Yet the murder weapon was fired twice. The first shot was the, f <laughs> the first shot was was the accidental firing when the pistol was thrown. So who fired the remaining shot? Second shooter on the grassy knoll. It was a lot of heart. <laughs> I'm bringing it back, baby. Second shooter on the grassy knoll. Hmm. Was there perhaps a second shooter on the grassy knoll? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> Another shooter who fired that second shot? Your Honor, as I'm sure you're aware, this incident occurred 15 years ago. The evidence is dated. What the fuck, Von Karma? What? The pistol did fire twice. However, we do not know when that second shot was fired. You're gonna sit here and be like, it could have been fired. Oh, fuck it off. Fired the day before the incident. Uh, there is no proof that the second shot had anything to do with this incident. No, ballistics would absolutely have determined when that bullet was fired. Also, there would probably be like a bullet hole in the elevator wall, and then one in Gregory Edwards' chest. This is a weird leap of logic on them, but whatever. 
<laughs> Jason says updated gun report. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Did the gun fuck not tell <sighs> you? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I see, I see. You do have a point, Mr. Wright. The murder weapon was fired twice, as we have heard. One of those shots was fired by the defendant, a boy at the time. Do you have any proof that the other shot was fired that the other shot fired had something to do with the case? I mean, do you have any proof that it didn't have something to do with the case? Uh, I mean, we've Damn got it, this that's one. solid evidence. I don't know. Uh, look if at the that counts. Can we see the, yeah, can we see the picture? Yeah, look at the picture. Oh shit. How yeah, did nobody we, see, we got this? we got a bullet hole clearly. We got a bullet hole clearly. Um that could not have possibly been the one that angled. There's no way the angle of that shot could be the one that slumped him over. How did nobody notice this? <laughs> okay. we have, yeah, we absolutely have a second shooter on the grass, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I know this took place inside of a building, but um, oh, it's good. It's there's a good. grassy knoll inside the building. Well, I mean, this murder did take place next to the indoor grassy knoll by the elevator. What was what, what was the building that Lee Harvey Oswald was in? The the something library book thing, book depository. Ah, it's whatever. A library? <laughs> the well, book no. depository? I, yeah, that's not a thing. Uh, <laughs> somebody in the chat's gonna tell oh, me. Like, you know, the library book thing. Where do you get library books from? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know I said a stupid thing. <laughs> it was twin. It was twin mold. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Uh, Trading on Titan says, "What the fuck is the joke with the grassy knoll?" I'm actually stupid. It, it, JFK. Oh, it, it's, 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 it's a it's theory a for the John F. Kennedy assassination that there was yeah. a second shooter who actually killed Kennedy, and he was standing on a grassy knoll. Yeah. It, so if, if if you ever hear someone reference the second shooter on the grassy knoll, it's it's just a completely debunked, outdated JFK got assassinated by someone else theory. Half yeah, half yeah. the chat is like, that's what this is. Half the other half of the chat is like, I'm so old now. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I think I will be able to show you proof. <laughs> what? Impossible. Now now, Mr. Von Karma. <laughs> I don't want to have to use my millennium gavel. Don't make me get the bailiff to work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we can bring Yachty Yogi, Yachty back, Yogi here. back in here. <laughs> Did someone call for me? <laughs> I smack peepees for my friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know exactly what Edit will have to do for that. <laughs> God. Save your surprise for after you've seen the evidence. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show us your proof. Mm. Do you have evidence that the second firing of the pistol is related to this incident? All right, let's go with this one. <laughs> Look at... Motherfucker. Yes! Oh! Look at this phonograph! <laughs> it makes me happy every time. Every time, I mean, it makes me laugh. <laughs> this is a photograph of the scene of the crime this from is a 15 years ago. of the scene Fuck. of the crime 15 years ago. What the hell is on Gregory Edgeworth's head? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is in Gregory Edgeworth's chest? Oh, it's a box. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. I liked that reference, but it was also sad. <laughs> I can see that the victim lying there is Gregory Edgeworth. This proves the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. This photo proves it. So, let me get this straight. You put the lime in the coconut <laughs> and drink it all up, right? Someone get uh, this man his damn margarita. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Chili's happy hour just started. I got marks on the brain. <laughs> so let me get this straight. This photo proves two shots were fired? Where? Like, why are they making us prove this? Because we literally... Your Honor, please. 
Please get a clue. A blues clue. Okay. Maybe it's, it's the bullet hole of the window. Again, I cannot fucking believe that nobody realized this years ago. I know what we have to do. We have to blue skidoo into the photo to prove that Edgeworth's in innocent. I don't... What did you just say? Blue skidoo? Yeah, what's blue it's skidoo? How, it's how Steve gets into the paintings and blues clues. Oh, I have totally forgot that. It's oh, he goes, blue skidoo, we can't do, and then he's in the paintings, and they uh, go on the little I mean, bench. I remember the jingle. Aww. I don't remember he says blue skidoo. Yeah, it's yeah. blue skidoo. Wow, yeah, okay, apparently everyone in the chat is destroying me for not remembering yeah. blue skidoo. Yeah, tear him apart. Yeah, I did watch tear him blue apart. I did not. I did not remember blue skidoo. Same, skidoo. okay, thank oh, you. Oh, tear the bridge apart. T tear them both apart, everybody. <laughs> wow. As should be obvious, <laughs> the contradiction is here. I love how he's like, yeah, this is really it's not hard. It's fucking look. Come on. I see a bullet hole in the door. Your Honor, Gregory Edgeworth was killed by a shot from a pistol. Yet there is also a bullet hole in the elevator door. We also know that the murder weapon was fired twice. Thus, someone other than Edgeworth fired that second shot. It was a second shooter on the grassy knoll. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? It's Do simple. I need to spell it out for you? Uh, apparently. <laughs> two bullets in elevator means two shots fired in incident. Well, technically, you didn't spell that. So I'm going to have to penalize you. S-H-O-T-S. <laughs> At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One went into Gregory Edgeworth's heart. Sorry, Edgeworth. The <laughs> other hit the elevator door. Remember the, the, that the defendant lost consciousness after the shot fired out. He, he fired, rang out. In conclusion, we must agree that the second shot was fired by someone else. Mr. Wright. But who could that someone be? The murderer, of course. Okay. Oh, well. well, it all makes sense now. I knew I should have stepped in before your wild fantasies got out of hand. Oh, just you wait till you hear my wild fantasies. <laughs> Zach, get in horny jail. Yeah, I'm in horny jail now. <laughs> Mr. Sorry. Wright. Look once more at the DL6 incident case file. Look closely. Try the case summary page. The case summary? <laughs> That's a page? What? what? <laughs> Look what is written there. Not a single clue was found on the scene. Oh. If the pistol had indeed been fired two times, then the other bullet would have been discovered on the scene. Unless the murderer fucking took the bullet. He does have Unless a point. Unless the police suck at their job in this place, which they kind of do. That's I mean, so what? I mean, it's not like the murderer would take the bullet. Who would do that? <laughs> that second bullet has never been found. Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. Because the limit does not exist. Was this fucking Lindsay Lohan and fucking Mean Girls? The second bullet does not exist. <laughs> Stop trying to make the second bullet a thing. <laughs> the bullet that claimed Gregory Edgeworth's life was the one fired by his own son. That is the truth of this matter. The whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Thank you for adding that. It was undoubtedly something else that made that bullet hole in the door. Maybe a third bullet or whatever, <laughs> I don't know. Order! I will have order! Mr. Wright has proven one thing to us quite clearly. 
that the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. However, as Mr. Von Karma says, the second bullet fired was not found. It is highly unlikely that the police merely overlooked this second bullet. But it is because possible. they're good boys who do good jobs. <laughs> so, all we have is the single bullet fired. No, and a... No, 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 no. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm afraid I have Fuck to you. discount the defense's claim. I have a literal photograph. I have a literal Nickelback reference. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? That sh- you, cannot, you, you cannot just claim because we couldn't find the bullet that picture doesn't exist. No, fuck you. That's <laughs> ridiculous. You, you cannot tell me the picture that literally proves the point I'm making just doesn't count because you can't find the bullet itself. I love, I love this idea of just shitting on the judge right now with the face that he's making and then just a single like... Tear. Teardrop <laughs> falls. He's like, no, fuck you, judge, you idiot. How can you discount this evidence that clearly proves what's going on? He's like, <laughs> this is fucking, I mean, this is fucking horseshit. <laughs> I praise the judge for his wisdom in this matter. Eat a fucking dick. Eat a millennium oh. rod, Von Karma. Oh, how did this happen? I don't believe that the second bullet didn't exist. Because it clearly... No, it clearly <laughs> exists. Just dumb people. Uh, have I been wrong about this whole incident? No. No, you're the only what smart one. What are you doing? One, which is the sh- most shocking thing, Nick. You're the only <laughs> smart one. <laughs> what are you doing, Nick? Why aren't you raising the objection? Uh, I'm sorry, Maya. Are you the fucking lawyer? <laughs> What? I, I'm sorry, did you just get snippy with me? It looks like I was wrong. Nick? The second bullet wasn't there. Then all my conjectures are for... No, 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 Phoenix. It was there. <laughs> <laughs> no. But you said you'd do it, Nick. You said you'd get Edgeworth declared innocent. Yeah, well, your mom said that fucking... Yanni Yogi was the murderer, so. I thought you were going to turn that into a your mom joke. Well, I mean, it <laughs> like... kind of was, I guess. <laughs> your mom said she would do it. <laughs> your mom goes to college. Mom! <laughs> it's just, when I saw the photograph, I thought that they... It doesn't discount the photograph! I was so certain of it. I thought I'd won! I thought there was another person, someone else, who fired the kill. What the fuck? But now, I was wrong to think it could be that simple. Edgeworth really did kill his dad. Whoops. This case is still a unsolved. Ghost. A ghost did it. Boo, it was me the whole time. Boo guy is actually a ghost? <laughs> there this was case... a fourth person in the elevator that no one knew about. <laughs> This case has stood unsolved for 15 years. Nick. Well, it seems that we have finally cleared up this incident. Fuck you! Only one bullet was found at the scene of the crime. Yeah, and only one bullet's gonna be found at the scene of your crime when I clock (laughs) you. (laughs) That shot was fired by Miles Edgeworth. No, it wasn't! Precisely. I would like to ask one thing of Miles Edgeworth before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to the trial so far? Is that you, Have is that you, you been question? paying attention? <laughs> Actually, uh, no. I zoned out. I was playing Fortnite on my Nintendo Switch. No, not him too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me and Grossberg play it. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, he's quite good. <laughs> We're actually just about to drop, so if you could just hold off for a bit... <laughs> Yes, Your Honor. And do you have any objections? No. No, I do not. So you killed your father, though well, that was not your intention. Yeah, Jojo points out, this is literally dang and rumpa trial, st- trial levels of stupid. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there. 
Yes, I did. Oh no, he's confessing. Again. <laughs> Do your Super Saiyan power up, Maya. Very well. The statute of limitations on the murder of Gregory Edgeworth runs out today. Therefore, I must pronounce a verdict on the defendant today. Okay, right I mean, here. One, one, once the trial starts, the statute doesn't matter. I mean, like, if, if, if the trial starts one day before the statute, but the trial takes longer than the statute, that's fine. It's, it's when the case is filed. So you don't, you don't have to do it today right now. There we go. I was no, no, I got to do it right now. <laughs> Listen, listen. Chili's happy hour starts any minute. <laughs> right now. It starts right now. <laughs> Indeed. Let's get going. Drinks on me. Edgeworth, you can... Oh, my bad. <laughs> Does anyone have any objections? I've been here before. It's just like my first day in court. There's so many things I know I should be saying. My friend's on trial for a murder he didn't commit again. Like objection. <laughs> yeah. But my mind's gone blank. I can't find the what, words. What's the word? Uh, objectivity? Uh, uh, her, her Sub subjection? Subjection. Um, objection. No. Uh, projection. No. I have, Damn it. I have an objection. Your Honor, I, I object. Ah, ah, ah. Mr. Wright, on what grounds do you object, hmm? Oof. Nick? I, I don't know. His case is, per <laughs> it's not perfect. It's <laughs> I'm the, so the judge. I'm the judge, completely ignoring a crucial piece of evidence. <laughs> His oh, case no. sucks. You're right. The case is just too ironclad. Gra. Not gra. I don't know. It who must is. exist. Oh. Oh, it's me. The second bullet. <gasps> Well, if, if Ghost said it, then it must be true. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Is it canon that Ghost Guy is actually Mia? <laughs> Just booing all the time. Yeah. She's like, God, Phoenix, you suck. Boo. <laughs> Why did I ever raise such a stupid protege? <laughs> what did you just say? Nothing. The second bullet Maya, Maya leans over into his ears like, the second bullet must exist. He's like, ah! Do you hear that, Maya? No, I don't <laughs> hear anything. But where? Someone took it. It seems waiting is not going to produce <laughs> us any answers from Mr. Wright. I like the idea is just like sitting like, what is going on? He's, he has like the, the thinking lady the thing. The fuck? And the whole court's just like looking at him like, okay, uh... Looks like we need to bonk Mr. Wright with the thinker statue. <laughs> no, that thing's killed two people. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've got it. The thinker statue killed Gregory Edgeworth. <laughs> Wait, your honor. Hmm? I, uh, th the second bullet, it, uh, it exists. What? But we've just heard proof that it did not exist. That was not proof, you dickweed. It was the absence of proof. And as we all know, the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. Boom. Fucking mic drop. Beep, 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 beep. I, I realize that, Your Honor. I'm really grasping here. It, It's just... Someone took it from the scene of the crime. That's what happened. But who... The murderer. The murderer? Then tell us, just who is this murderer? I'm still thinking about that one. Hmm. So the criminal took the second bullet. Why would he? I mean, I I don't have to explain that one, right? It's fucking Oh, evidence. we do, because this judge has gone full idiot mode. Huh? 
First of all, how would he have found it? It's not easy to find a stray bullet, Mr. Wright. Then how the fuck did the police find? Like, oh, come on. I'm gonna. You're gonna find a stray bullet in your chest. <laughs> Was there some pressing need for the murderer to search for the bullet? The yes. Murderer had to find it. Yeah. Uh, of course there was a need. That's why this is so. This. This is bad. Uh, okay, that's why he took it. Bah! What possible reason could he have had? Uh, well. The reason the murderer took the bullet away from the scene with him was... I mean, these are both kind of the same thing, but the bullet would be proof, right? Yeah, the bullet would be proof. Or, I mean, yeah, they're both they're both right. Uh, maybe he thought the bullet would be used as proof? Proof? It was a special oh, that's, bullet. That's the stuff that goes in pudding, right? I, I love you. pudding. I hate you, Judge. It was a special bullet. So he took it with him. If that was the case, then he would have taken the bullet from inside Gregory as well. Huh? Why would he only take one of the two shots fired? Oh, right. Mr. Wright, if you really thought this through, I'm going to have to penalize you. Because you didn't produce pudding. <sighs> this isn't going so well. Sure, he was being cautious. Oh, I damn. Find it. Okay, come on. This is annoying. Uh, well, the murderer was a very cautious sort, you see? That's why the murderer had to search for that bullet. If that were the case, then he would have taken the bullet from inside Gregory as well. Uh, huh? Why would he only take one of the two shots fired? Oh, motherfucker. He didn't need the bullet? What? This doesn't make any sense. This is, this is so weird. Okay, he didn't need the bullet. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. I mean, I... Okay, it, it's it's coming back to me. This is stupid. Why would the murderer have spent the time to look for the stray bullet? I haven't got a clue. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Uh... Um... Bah! The murderer had no reason to take the bullet. Grass God says Nick has to be stupid because Mia ex machina. That's good. You don't want to admit it, but it's true. Uh. Had to take it. Had to take it? The murderer? What does that mean? You're thinking too normal. <laughs> Think crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts! Let's get nuts! Don't think why the bullet was taken. Think why the bullet had to be taken. Okay, wind it back. Literally, the thing was, the, the my options were he had to take <laughs> the bullet to. or not. He literally... Oh, fuck <laughs> off, game. <laughs> Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, well, the murderer had no intention of taking the bullet from the scene. But, uh, the murderer had to take the bullet. Had to, Mr. Wright? Didn't you just say that? What yeah. do you mean? Well, for instance, for instance what? Uh, maybe the bullet, uh, hit the murderer. The bullet hit the murderer? Uh, just saying. For instance. I mean, if it hit you, you would have to take it with you, wouldn't you? It's not like you could perform surgery right there or anything. Uh, you know? <laughs> Wait a second. I was just talking off the top of my head, but what if that's what actually happened? Let me get this straight. So at the time of the murder, the murderer himself was shot. Yes. <laughs> I almost read it as the murderer shot himself. I was going to say, it was, the murderer was Gregory Edgeworth. He shot himself and then had to take the bullet with him. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Miles, you're innocent. Your dad killed himself. <laughs> Even though we already wrote that out a really long time ago. 
and he left with the second bullet still inside, thus leaving only one bullet at the scene of the crime. Uh, yes. I, I guess that's how it would work. Yes. <laughs> but there's a problem with that. The other two people rescued from the elevator, Miles Edgeworth and Yanni Yogi, were both unar- unharmed. So that would mean... Yeah, I mean, the, the one bullet hole was from the fucking window. We've... The murderer came from outside, yes. The two men fight inside the elevator. Trying to stop them, the boy picks up the pistol at his feet and throws it. The pistol discharges, and the bullet... The bullet goes through the elevator door and hits the murderer outside. The boy loses consciousness. Then, the murderer opens the elevator door and sees the men inside. Hmm. Mr. Wright, (laughs) you are truly the most unpredictable defense attorney I've ever known. And you're the shittiest judge I've ever known. <laughs> <laughs> you flatterer. I can tell you're grasping, and I cannot deny the possibility of what you say. But you could deny the possibility of a second bullet because they couldn't find it before. Fuck off. Yeah, well, because Von Karma's cool. So what are you bullet. saying? Deny it! Deny it! No one involved with the incident was wounded. Dude, Von Karma, we know you're probably the murderer. Yeah. There was no murderer. Fuck. Sorry. It was just no. A... no one was wounded at the time of the incident. He's right. I can't think of anyone. Hey, Nick. Huh? I just thought of something really crazy. <laughs> what if it was Von Karma? <laughs> crazy? Remember what Mr. Grossberg said yesterday? Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow. (laughs) It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. A vacation to recover from a bullet wound. Bum, bum, bum. Uh That was the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. Because he's never been because he's never been shot before. What if Von Karma didn't take that vacation because of shock? But took it because he was injured? Which would mean It could only mean one thing. He was the murderer in the DL6 incident. He was the man who shot Gregory Edgeworth. It was Von Karma! Again, I love the idea that they're just having this conversation like in the middle of the courtroom, and he's like, what are they talking about? <laughs> they could be whispering to each other at least. Oh, True, man. but... Oh, man. <laughs> Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You seem dazed. And confused. Uh, no, Your Honor. Well, you have indicated the possibility that the murderer came from outside. Can you give us the name of your suspect? Uh Uh-oh. Should I come out and say it now? Edgeworth, I love you. Now say it now, 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 say it now. (laughs) Yeah, we're doing it. Your Honor, there is a suspect. One lone suspect. Well, this is certainly interesting news. Very well, Mr. Wright. Who is your suspect? My hands are shaking. Knees, Knees weak. weak. Palms are Palms sweaty. Are sweaty. <laughs> it's all full circle, everybody. It's full circle. <laughs> oh, thank the goodness. first episode. <laughs> <laughs> what? Von Karma. Von Karma? Uh oh. Forgot you were there. Right, music hitting in. I also love that Von Karma's like smirking. Yeah. 
You mean the Von Karma? The prosecutor, sitting right there. Huh. I will give it to him. Von Karma has a really good poker face. Mm hmm. You d don't object? Hmm. I see no need. Why honor this ridiculous outburst with my objection? Because you're scared, Von Karma. You're scared. Because you took a vacation for several months starting the day after the incident. Yet you pride yourself on a perfect record. Why would you take such a long vacation without any reason? So you're claiming that I took a vacation to heal my injury from the incident. Fascinating. Prove it. I would have needed surgery, no? Where did I go under the knife at, Mr. Wright? Bring that doctor that operated on me. Have him testify. Oh, fuck off. Uh. Nick. Let's find out who his doctor is. <laughs> what? Uh. It's no use. Uh, Edgeworth? I know Von Karma. Perhaps too well. Uh. He's perfect. He wouldn't leave clues. He probably didn't undergo surgery. That would leave a doctor as a witness. Or, or he had a doctor operate and then killed the doctor. Uh, nobody's that perfect. So, so what, Nick? Dude, can I just pull out the bullet I stuck from his body? Did Von Karma pull the bullet out by himself? That's insane. Not as insane as the rest of this case. Reminder, we started this day with fucking cross-examining a bird. No, he couldn't have. You can't just pull bullets out of yourself. Wait. <laughs> what if you could pull a bullet? <laughs> what does that mean? That bullet has to be somewhere. But where? <laughs> Do you know where the bullet is? We'll have to perform a strip search on Von Karma. <laughs> See where the bullet scar is. Von Karma stripped down to your speedo. God damn it. See, there was a reason Wes asked for the, the Von Karma uh, swimsuit. It was art. for this very moment. Dude, we, guys, we can still have the metal detector. Can you produce <laughs> evidence just run to prove against that I was shot? <laughs> Just, just run out against my karma. He's like, oh, shit. see, it's some metal here on your shoulder. Why is there some metal <laughs> on your shoulder? That's from this trial. Well, that's the one from. Oh, it, it still bears clear ballistic markings. Wait, is that what they're going for? Or am I, am I just being an idiot? I mean, you're the the metal detector idea isn't a bad one. Okay. Metal sex my karma. God metal damn it. I was, I was dead serious before when I was like, why the fuck is the metal detector still in our inventory? We don't need it. I'm going to be pissed. I, if this is what happens, I've completely forgotten that it happens, and I'm going to be mad about it. All right, Von Karma. I'll prove it. And I'll even use evidence. I know how you like it so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, you like that evidence? What? The evidence that proves Von Karma was shot. Okay, here we go. We're gonna fucking do it. Von, Kar Von Karma is perfect. He wouldn't risk surgery leaving an evidence trail. So then I ask, where is that bullet now? I think it unlikely that Von Karma performed surgery on himself. You, you don't mean. God, I hate this game. I do. <laughs> there is the possibility that the bullet is still inside Von Karma. Are you saying he didn't poop it out? <laughs> I like the idea that the judge would think that that's what happens. <laughs> is, how is that even possible? For all the, he's been holding it all these years? <laughs> God damn it. Well, there's one way to find out. We could use this metal detector. <laughs> <laughs> that I've just been carrying around. Uh, fucking gumshoes in the audience like, Hey, wait, pal, oh, I need that back. That's my metal detector. <laughs> you said now you were going to get like, that back. Yeah. I yeah, really wish 
I really wish that we had accidentally kept missile. And he's like, <laughs> we can use this dog. <laughs> well, Von sleep. Karma, I'm going to run this over you. <laughs> I'm going to run you run over and see over what you. we find. The evidence is Lana's van. I'm going to run this over you. There we go, Pridge. There's, there's fucking Von Karma squirming for you. Dear... Power before me, you bitch! <laughs> I refuse. You refused? Because you're hiding something. But refusing this means you acknowledge that the bullet is still inside you. Technically, that's not what that means, but yeah, sure. Eh, it, it goes along with how faulty this judge's this reasoning is on everything. Yeah. Order! 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 Ooh. Quit it, you! Your Honor, the defense requests that we be allowed to use the metal detector. <laughs> Judge, I call for a suspension of this trial. Oh, this yeah. is an invasion of privacy. This is what I'm all about. The statute of limitations runs out of this case today. It was you who said we had to end it right here, right now. <laughs> Enough! I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to testing. Mr. Von Karma, Medical you will submit. Testing. Submit! Come, Guardian! <laughs> okay, something very funny that maybe, maybe I, no one will get, but I find hilarious. In the original Kingdom Hearts game... God damn it, was. <laughs> Really quick, uh, check in the chat. Grass God has graced us with their amazing art one more time with Von Karma and Young Edgeworth in a swimsuit. <gasps> That's very good. That I love I love that he's still fully wearing clothed. everything else. Yeah. <laughs> and his little like, floaties. He's like Miles, hand me the lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what does this mean? I don't know. It, it fucking means the bullet's still in him. What are you talking about? But we have we to have give, to it, give a it a shot. A we, shot? We have to give it a... Oh. <sighs> it reacted. Something's inside his right shoulder. I really hope he got shot in the butt or something. <laughs> the bullet. <laughs> you got metal in your butt. He got his butt. <laughs> it's my high iron diet. Mr. Von Karma. You. It was you. I was afraid this would happen. And so I remain silent. Uh -huh. Indeed, there is a bullet in my shoulder. It's because I served in the war. <laughs> <laughs> However, it has nothing to do with this incident. What the fuck? How can, how in any fucking realm, if the court tries to accept this, I will be so pissed. I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. Fuck off. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. And why would Boo, you hide that's it? that's shitty logic. Boo. But, Mr. Von Karma, can you prove that? Prove. Don't, don't. No. He's gonna. He's gonna. I have no obligation to prove anything. <laughs> It is you who must prove something here, Mr. Wright. I'm sorry, I was getting so mad, Magnus just got really scared. <laughs> Not I. I'm going to crawl over there, take a rusty butter knife, carve that bullet out of his goddamn shoulder, and do ballistics mark checkings on it. Mr. Wright, that's pretty dark, man. Well, can you prove it? 
And can you prove that the bullet in Von Karma's shoulder was from DL6? No, Judge, it's not my fucking job! Of course he can't! You don't have any of the DL6 evidence. I have because the other I bullet! Tased, because I tased you yesterday. I mean, oh, shit. That's Got me again, you, right? That's because you took it from the records room. With no proof, you cannot convict me of any crime. So sorry, Mr. Wright. No, I'm the one who's sorry, Mr. Von Karma. Power pose on him. Not me! Power <laughs> pose on him. Hey, perfect. <laughs> you were close. One day from freedom. You see, I have proof. Nani! <laughs> Who would have thought that you would have dug your own grave trying to convict Edgeworth? I can link that bullet in your shoulder to the DL6 incident. And here's my final proof. I mean, it's, it's the bullet from Polly, DL6, your right? Your truth bullet. God damn it. Wait, that's wrong. It's Polly. I'll have her peck the bullet out of your shoulder. That's a bullet? A bullet. Where did you get that? This is the bullet you used in the DL6 incident. This was taken from the heart of the victim, Mr. Gregory Edgeworth. The bullet is preserved quite nicely, with all the ballistic markings intact. Ballistic markings? So now we're gonna have to pull that bullet out of your arm and compare <laughs> it to the other one. Yeah, I'm gonna I demand you get surgery right now. Knife. You may recall the term. It came up in the first trial two days ago. Remember, my asked about it. Von Karma was a dick about it. You get a flashback. Ballistic markings are the fingerprints of a weapon. <laughs> All bullets fired from a gun are marked with that weapon's unique pattern. By examining the marking, you can tell which weapon fired the bullet. It's quite accurate. We have two bullets in our possession. One, the bullet removed from Gregory Edgeworth's heart. The other, Mr. B Mr. Von Karma, is the bullet buried in your shoulder. We could analyze both bullets. Then, if the markings matched, we would know that both bullets had been fired from the same gun. The very same pistol. In other words, the murder weapon that killed Mr. Gregory Edgeworth. Mm. Mm. Mr. Von Karma, you will let us remove the bullet from your shoulder. Then, we'll compare the ballistic markings to those on this bullet. And solve this case once and for all. Well, Mr. Von Karma. Oh God, I think this is a this is a this is terrible it. moment for my voice. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that scream. <laughs> I've heard that scream before. Wait, I know. Help! I can't breathe! Quiet! I said quiet! You're not making this any easier. Stop breathing my air! I'll, I'll stop you! Stop breathing my air! Get away! Get away from my father! <laughs> it's that scream I heard in the elevator 15 years ago. Von Karma, it was you who screamed! Boo, you just figured that out! <laughs> Mr. Von Karma. Edgeworth! Edgeworth! 
Only you would dare defy me. Is he causing an earthquake? <laughs> By the way, yeah. Von Farmer screams yeah. cause earthquakes. He, he causes an earthquake and Edgeworth just has a panic attack all over again. <laughs> so, it was you. You Wait, and bridge, your bridge, father bridge. Are... Oh, here we go. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> It's all worth it. He lets it go. You could let it go forever. Yep. It just <laughs> infinitely bangs his head. <laughs> you and your father are my curse. Your father shamed me with a penalty on my record. And you, you left a scar on my shoulder that would never fade. Dude, checks I, I'll bury it. you! I'll bury you with my bare hands! Death! Death! <laughs> Mr. Chief Prosecutor, I am sorry. Von Karma, it's not like you to make this kind of error. I never would have thought that Edgeworth would be the one to catch you. I was careless. I'm sorry, but you will have to be penalized. Wait, so prosecutors can get penalized in the same way? <laughs> I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. <laughs> Edgeworth! It was a shock like none I had ever known. Me. Penalized? It took hours for me to regain my composure. Like Jesus, two this hours. Dude, this dude is so <laughs> fragile. That's like that's like the fucking the Scott Pilgrim movie bit, which is very good. Oh yeah. But do you know how long it took me to get all the evil X's contact information? Like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness. Oh my god, this dude has the most fragile ego ever. I joined I the Heartless. The court <laughs> I got Xehanorted. That's the power of the Keyblade. <laughs> I became Max wait, Rack. Wait, now can we get... Can we get... Von Karma Goofy. As a Keyblade Master fucking... <laughs> yeah, with, with Donald and Goofy. Yeah, what, what would Von Karma's Keyblade look like? Chat, I'll leave that to y'all. Von Karma! <laughs> I can't, I can't Von do it. Karma! <laughs> Donald. Goofy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Von Karma! You're gonna now, I the know for, <laughs> now I know for certain Kingdom Hearts is light! God damn it. Yeah, I gotta go to bed soon. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. We're going on way too long. I was in the court records room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went out in the hall and felt my way to the elevator. I pressed the button and nothing happened. Then there was a noise. I was in pain. A horrible, burning pain in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on. The elevator door opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a bullet, a pistol, lay at my feet, and a bullet lay in my shoulder. <laughs> I knew then, it was destiny. I like how much mileage they get out of that fucking spray. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who had shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. Also, I appreciate that Von Karma also canonically believes in spirit mediums. Uh-huh. He was fooled. It was the perfect crime. <laughs> Who would have thought another man would have come to open that elevator door? Judge! What? What are you doing? Do your job. 
bring an end to this miserable charade. Now, end it. Uh, very well. What? It appears that we have come to a very long. We have come a very long way to the end of this maze. Sure have. Yeah, it was a weird one. Fifteen years later. Mr. Miles Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. You are innocent. You are innocent. I mean, but, you talk about you're guilty. on the shoulder, I guess. But you're guilty of being too dang beautiful. <laughs> All right. Who's up for who's up for chilies? <laughs> As you said. It was all a nightmare. Also, I like that Miles is just like super stone cold faced right now. I'm like, dude, the burden of, of the fear for 20 years that you're, you I killed know. your dad in an accident. Let's see some tears, Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Guilty. Ha! Fuck Again. <laughs> no. Not, not hey, they had, good. They had backup confetti. <laughs> that is all. The court is adjourned. Oh, Christ. Thank God. We did it. We did it. We saved our boyfriend. Twice. Oh, dang it. It's Chili's happy hour. It's almost over. Wow, that's, that, that did take over three hours in the game and in real life. I'm, but I'm gonna pretend at least two of those hours though, where Karma had banging his head against a wall. <laughs> just like, there's like, blood, there's like a massive blood spot, spot on there now. <laughs> Nick, Nick, we did it. Well, I did it. Did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual. Got him. He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crushed him, Nick. Crushed. Crushed his soul beneath my hands. I gotta say, I'm impressed. <laughs> it was pretty close, though. Like, uh, you were a six, but now you're like a solid seven and a half. I was sure. That. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, I was sure we had, we'd had it. I know. I was on the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. <laughs> Well, my dad's still dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I said, a good memory. This was super traumatic for me, by the way. <laughs> good memory. I need therapy. Good. <laughs> so, it's finally over, Edgeworth. Right. Yeah? I... I'm not sure how to say this. Yeah? I know, I know. Try, thank you. Maya, shut the fuck up. You're being a third wheel here, Maya. I, I see. Thank you, Right. <sighs> You're welcome. I think you could have done better than that. Maya, I'll fucking kill you. Ugh. Sorry, I'm not good at this sort of thing. You got a lot to learn, Edgeworth. I fucking hate you, Maya. Shut up. <laughs> dear, dear. Dear, dear. What a statement. What? <laughs> Amazing, pal! You pulled through just like I thought you would. I'll never forget this. Oh, I owe you one, pal. And tonight, let's party. Chili's on me. <laughs> yeah, my salary went down a bit this month, so I can only afford Chili's. I was going to say, but Chili's is so affordable. <laughs> but with those half-price margaritas, who cares? God damn it. See, Mr. Edgeworth? You should take a lesson from Detective Gumshoe. I mean... That's how you say thank you. Maya, you didn't shut pay the... for your bail, by the way, so... Yeah, like, shut the fuck up, Maya. <clears throat> I... I see. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> I... I feel foolish. No, that was good. That was good. <laughs> Don't worry! 
Take it a little at a time. You'll get used to it. It's been 15 years since I've seen Edgeworth this unguarded. Hey, y'all! Oh, what the fuck? The fuck? No way. Get out of here. What a... Ah! <laughs> Leave. Go, Go back to George Lake. Go back to... Lana. 1330 Wallaby Sid... Ugh, fuck, I don't remember the exact address. Wallaby Y Sydney? Yeah. Y'all were great in there. Thank you. Yo, Edgeworth, congrats. Uh, thank y'all very much. <laughs> Edgeworth, I knew this, you woman, this woman erroneously right, co tried to convict you of murder. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at you. You wouldn't stick your hand in the cookie jar even if no one was there. I'm gonna punch you, Lada. Yep. I'll punch you. You were the witness on the first day of the trial, weren't you? The one who tried to lie and get me convicted of murder? Yeah, well, let bygones be bygones, eh? Speaking of which, what are you doing now, Lada? Who, me? Oh, I went back to college. What, you got in? In? The, two, in the two days? <laughs> in the two days since we were just together? Yeah. That's how college works. Yes. I, I gave up trying to be an investigative photographer pretty quick. What the? Okay. You are trash at it, so. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? God fucking damn it, Larry's here. <laughs> it's over, Nick. My life is over. Oh, you would my... get accused of murder again. No, fucking Keontae, probably. Why the sad face, Larry? What happened now? Oh, Nick! I'm not long for this world! <sighs> you don't look sick. It's Keontae! She's going to live in Paris! Paris, Nick! Well, I hear they have great bird food there. She's going to be eating baguettes without me. <laughs> that was good. She's leaving me behind. Oh, God damn it. Larry, Larry. Yo, Edgy, there you are. Come on. Um, yes, here I am. Congrats, Edgy. Here, little gift from me in celebration. Celebration? That's unusual for you. Harry Butts! You come along too. My treat, pal. Oh, you don't want to do that, Gumshoe. Uh, Larry really puts back the, the Chili's margaritas. <laughs> huh? Uh, thanks. Looking forward to it. Yo, yo, Nick. That's the suit the question. <laughs> I like how serious Larry gets. Like, yo, what? Yo, Nick, a cab, all right? <laughs> <laughs> when he says treat, that's not police talk for prison food, right? Right? Uh, I mean, it's chili, so it's barely better. So <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be fine, Wait, Harry. We're going to Chili's? Oh, no. Well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> right. Yeah? What's up? That envelope that Larry gave me. It's got money in it. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker, Larry. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not strange. People give money away to celebrate sometimes. Do they, Phoenix? It's $38, right? Huh. What a weird amount. I mean, it's not... How are you not realizing this instantly, Phoenix? <laughs> this is your whole character. You're the only one who obsesses about it. <laughs> what a weird amount. I mean, it's not a little, but it's not a lot either. It's just right. Uh, $38 exactly. Nick, wasn't that exactly the amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? $38? No. No. Larry! It was you! What are you so surprised about, Pride? I'm literally going to murder my best friend, Edgeworth. Sorry. <laughs> Can you defend me in court now? 
<laughs> Larry was absent that day from school, right? But that doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day, 15 years ago, since you Don't seem want your to dad have died? <laughs> Gah, Daddy! Larry took the day off, but he was bored. He came into school anyway. Wait. Because <laughs> that's what you do as a kid, and Wait. you're allowed to do. <laughs> you don't... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 this is, this is fine logic. Is, is you fine. can't just choose to take off school and be like, nah, there's nothing going on at home. They're not showing reruns of The Price is Right right now, so I'm going to go to school anyways. Uh, that's a good reason to stay home. Then he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. <laughs> I never was good at history. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Edgeworth. You didn't know, did you? I suspected. I just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Do you remember? This is my backstory. Do yeah. you remember? The 21st night of September? Eh, very good. Too well. Right, you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in school. I hate all of this. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Uh, I know, I know. Really right. I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. I fucking hate you. Give me a kiss already. Well, this is sure an unexpected turn of events, huh? Larry, I hate you. Want to make sure that's good clear. It's a good thing that all my friends love me and are not going to kill me. <laughs> hmm? You should have told me. Then now, I would now, then Nick. I would have become a prosecuting attorney so I could have prosecute people like fucking Larry. Now now Nick, it was 15 years ago. Who cares if money got stolen or your dad died? Oh. <laughs> Don't you think the statute of limitations has run out, Mr. Edgeworth? Fuck off, Maya. I'd say so, yes. There you have it. Uh, where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what you two did. Well, I'd call you a goody two-shoes to the extreme. Yeah, you get worked up too easily, too. I'm going to fucking kill you. Larry. <laughs> death. The death sentence for both of you. Good call, Phoenix. Uh, literally, he says it. Man, if only I'd known, I'd have become a prosecutor. The same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought that I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor and part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. Edgeworth. What a switch, right? Is this a is this like a sex thing we're talking I, here? Are, are, you, are you a switch? Are you a switch, <laughs> right? Uh, I'm a verse verse top. Hey, y'all. Line up. I'll take a photo. <laughs> hey, photo time. Let's go. And after that, dinner on me. Well, at least Lana isn't going to be in this picture. Detective Gumshoe took us down to Chili's that night. <laughs> we celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom. Nobody had a good time, because it was <laughs> Chili's. Although Edgeworth was still in detention. Why was he in detention? He's cleared. Oh my god, just end the case already. Whoa. I, I went a little overboard Ooh, on those chili margaritas. <laughs> my head hurts and my butt. Wait, Boy, sorry, Jack. not not for the sex, not for the sex. It's oh, the chili. No. I'm literally. It was Zach, the chili you're going spicy to food. It was no, the chili no, spicy food. Take thought, him away. You should, have before, you should have thought before you talked. Listen, we established Phoenix is the top. This is he Take had spicy him away, food. Chad. I apologize. Persecute no. him. Sorry, Zach. You said it. It's still only five a.m. Maybe I should go back to sleep. Huh? What's this? A letter? Is it 38 bucks? 
Good morning, Nick. You were really impressive yesterday. Seeing you, it made me think about what I'm doing here. Wow, existential, huh? I'm a spirit medium. In training, of course. I wanted to help Mr. Edgeworth, too. I wanted to help you. But I couldn't. I was useless. So I've decided to go back to my training. I'll become a full-fledged spirit medium, for starters. I couldn't say it to your face, so I left this letter. You were really sloshed and being really gropy. It was weird. Oh, no. Goodbye, Nick. Goodbye? What time is it? Uh, the first trains for the mountains have already left. To the station. Wait, was it like, Dude. to the station? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, wow. back at the station. Look at this custom train station art that they drew just for this scene. I guess I'm too late. Hey! Nick? Maya! So this is awkward. So, you're leaving. Yeah. It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. And I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good. Okay? <laughs> oh, that's very good. <laughs> I like Wait! That. What? I never could have saved Edgeworth without your help. Huh? On the last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. You heard my sister? Yes. Only her voice, but still. It was at the very end when I thought we'd lost everything. So I guess I'm a better spirit medium than you too. <laughs> 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 Can't wreck, Maya. Well, that's my sister for you. Detective Gumshoe helped, and Mr. Grossberg, and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help. I was you useless. You got thrown in man. jail, to be fair. But you were the one. Help. You were the one who stopped Von Karma, Maya. Huh? I, I didn't do anything. All I did was wander around in a daze. Sorry, but. I have evidence that you helped. Evidence? <laughs> this game. Show Maya some evidence to cheer her up. Uh, the bullet, Polly. And, uh, I mean, she is the one who grabbed the bullet from him. Oh yeah, it is that, that makes sense. Take that! So you just show him a picture of her mother. <laughs> a bullet? Yeah, it's for you. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> Von Karma was convinced he had taken all the evidence pertaining to DL6. But you were the one who rescued the last piece of evidence we needed. This was the bullet that put an end to Von Karma. And you were the one who gave it to me. Nick. Thanks, Maya. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll be back soon. Huh? I'm going to complete my training and come back. Okay. I'll be waiting. Of course you will. You can't run that office by yourself. You're hopeless. Uh, I don't know about that. So, bye. Bye. Aww. Cute Maya picture. Thanks, Nick. It's adorable. We love Maya. And so, I, I don't know if this is her or Phoenix, but I, I think whatever. this is Phoenix. Yeah. So, my story ends. Time to turn a new. What if the sequel was <laughs> Ma Maya Fey, Ace uh, Spirit Medium? Ace medium. <laughs> <laughs> And say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that I once... Well, okay. Let's be clear. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, a new story begins. With the same old crazy cast of characters. The same old crazy cast of characters. Ha! Don't think you've graduated yet, amateur. Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to rethink that claim. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. yeah. It's still weird yeah. that they put this even before the case. This technically this is the last. Right. Hey, pal! The Dredgewith came down to the precinct to wish me happy New Year. Talk about a pleasant surprise. Whoa! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. Then he hung his head low and went right back outside. Kind of like he was embarrassed or something. Strange, huh? Thank you, Kumiko Suikane, for all these amazing graphics. That wasn't sarcastic. It kind of sounded it. <laughs> huh? Nick? Nah, I haven't seen him lately. Who, me? I've been working at a cheese shop. That miss is a nice lady, but she's not exactly what you'd call a cheap date. Huh? Oh, she's in Hawaii now, right now. Yeah. God, fucking damn it, Larry. Classic Larry. Who else but Larry? It's Larry, Larry. Oh, yeah. The... Who? Right? Yeah, I remember him. I hear he's been busy lately. You know, not to ring my own bell, but I sort of taught him everything he knows. I'm sure he's grateful. Fuck you. You were the tutorial. Go. <laughs> you tutorial ass bitch. Uh, also, the chat has now drawn a picture of me in horny jail. Thank you for that, Creaky. Phoenix right up. Ah, the defense attorney for whom I wrote that affidavit for, yes. Oh, you should know, I've taken over management of the Gatewater Hotel. Should you be in the area, please stop by. But I still... Promotion. But I still... <laughs> yep, he's, he's Jeez, still... Like I'm a bellboy. He does it because he loves it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's you. Phoenix Wright? Ah, yes, me is understudy, was he not? I wonder how he's doing. I haven't seen him late. Ah, the days of my youth. <laughs> like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Fortnite. <laughs> ah, the days of Fortnite. I'm sorry, Bridge. <laughs> it's almost over. Phoenix Wright? He an actor? Well, I'm not buying it. You can't be a star with a name like Phoenix. You know the uh, DVD, oh one of the boxes? Now yeah, the DVD is a thriller. Everything is supposed to keep it all. Blah, blah, blah. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'm pleased to announce the Pink Princess is a hit. I oh, sure owe that, Mr. Wright, a great deal. <laughs> oh, and I'm keeping my face out of the public eye till the show's over. I wouldn't want to ruin any kid's dreams, you know? <clears throat> oh, Lord. Yeah, this is definitely our longest dream. Oh, I got a letter from Maya the other day. Sounds like she caught a cold standing under a waterfall. I wanted to visit, but I didn't have time, so I sent her some pink princess trading cards. She says she can't buy it where she is. What kind of place is she living at anyway? That was like a third world country, jeez. Really quick, uh, V says, Pridge, eat the wig once the credits end. <laughs> right? Who's that? You want to talk? Let's talk Pink Princess. All right. But, you know, I snuck into the studio the other day. And I saw her. The one inside the Pink Princess suit. Ugh, what a dog. It was kind of a shock for a boy of my tender age. My tender Jesus, age. Cody. Cody, Dang, Cody, Cody now has the worst fetish ever. <laughs> yeah, I remember right. That lawyer guy. Who, me? I've been training to become a paranormal photographer. You know that picture I took of everyone? Well, just behind them, there's a ghost. For real. Now that's talent. I will be famous. I, I hope a ghost Lana. kills you, Lotta. You get ghost murdered. I hope we just get Von Karma in his jail cell just pounding his head against the wall still. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. It's me as ghost. 
I also love one gum. She's just tossing confetti. Yeah. <laughs> also, where did Maya get that <laughs> victory side? Yeah. She always carries a victory and defeat side with her to every case, just in case. Hey. Yeet the wig. Yeet the wig. Yeet the right, wig. One last look. <laughs> one last look. Not like we can't do this again at some point, but oh, oh. Jesus. I'm so yeah. sorry for your head. Yeah. Fine. Need <laughs> it. Just my head's itchy. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Uh, all right, everybody. Thank Wait, you. He was Pridge the whole time. <laughs> oh, here's the secret. Thank you, everybody. That's my secret. That's my secret cap. I'm always Pridge. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much for watching this. Uh, this seriously was this an incredible awesome. end to this incredible trial. Uh, oh, it was wild. Uh, thank you, everybody who drew fan art this week. Again, this will obviously be up in the episode. Um, if if you want me to to put like an actual mention to you, please just DM me either on discord, Twitter or whatever. Uh, and I'll put your, your link in that. Um, but thank you again for watching another episode of Phoenix, Wright Ace attorney with an actual lawyer. I'm Zach. This is Wes. This is, was Phoenix. Uh, remember we, we record this live every Wednesday at twitch.tv slash save data team. Every seven, every night, every Wednesday at seven 30 PM Eastern time. It goes up the very next Monday and Tuesday on our YouTube channel. But uh, until next time, I plead the fifth.